like to uh, talk just a little bit about um, about gesture and about expression uh, and the choice the choices we have with this power that we have that people who experience ALS um, lose that gift. So we, we express ourselves primarily in two ways, through our speech and through our actions. And uh, speech is giving voice to either the mind or the heart or a balance of the two. So when the, the, the throat being where we form speech is between the, the heart and the mind. So when we speak from a balance of heart and mind, um, our speech is, um, is constructive and beneficial to those around us. And then gesture um, is, uh, either it is you know we, we look at the body as being the the point uh, this is your center of movement your your, your uh, center of action takes place right here so oftentimes as endurance athletes we are very body and mind in terms of doing our events and doing our training we're focused on hitting numbers that are are um uh, you know prescribed by the mind and we're using the body to hit those numbers so that we can make our goals. Um, and oftentimes as athletes we lose the connection of gesture being a balance of heart and body um, and that when our gestures are balanced between heart and body then our actions are uh, a great benefit. So for me training is really about bringing these two together but racing Doing events is about bringing these two together, and that when we engage the heart aspect of intelligence in our races, then we're really um, embracing the essence of what racing is as competition. Uh, competition is simply the successful petition for the empowerment of companionship.